Amen. Uh, as economic hardship bites harder across Nigeria, citizens are getting angrier. In Zaria, Kaduna State, hoodlums attacked a boar truck locked, uh, locked with cartons of spaghetti at the Dogorawa exit of Zaria Kano Expressway. According to an eyewitness, uh, the driver had parked the truck by the roadside to observe prayers when the hoodlum struck, looting all the cartons of spaghetti before fleeing the scene. Well, Nika, I mean, you would think this is a, a more conservative environment and people would... Uh, be more <laughs> is this hunger? Hunger, hunger is this doesn't... <laughs> well, uh, well, the point is that um, it's... Um, it's unfortunate that because there was yeah, another one. You. There was another one in uh, in in the FCT. Yes, mm. uh, Karimo, where they you know. There was also one in Nigeria warehouse. last week. Mm. Yes, and they were looking for yes. other warehouses. Mm. You know, I think yes, there is hunger. There is hunger, people. But I I, I think also, the traditional rulers and community leaders need to step in. You know, we should not allow the people to think. That you know they can resort to, you know, antisocial behavior. You understand? To you know because they have to, you know, they have to uh, feed. I, I think. It was that the driver uh, parked to go and pray? He was praying. Yes, he went to go and pray. So, yeah, but when you have so things, they packed have, everything before he finished praying. Yes, but you see, when we continue like this, it will not solve any problem. Will only descend to a Hobbesian state. It will not solve any problem. Yes, you know, definitely the government. A poor truck. Yes. The government says they are doing their best. They are doing what they can to deal with, you know, the unfortunate situation we found ourselves. Yes, and basically caused by insecurity. By food and There's nothing he could have even, done. Yes, there was nothing he could have done. Even <laughs> if he decided to round up his prayer, I will, uh, long time. Will he, how will he confront these people? Except to explain with his life. Hmm. We can't confront uh, these people. These days, I think the companies will have to ensure uh, their products, or at least when driving across uh, highways, because people would uh, loot anything on site. But what about the, what about the warehouses? Those looted hmm? Nema House. Nema Warehouse. The warehouse yeah. What about the warehouses? When they, and they need to protect the, those places. They should know. You know, the governor of um, Adamasi has been warning people to stay away from their warehouses, stay away from government warehouses, because he knows that people will want to loot. It happened during COVID. That same place in Karmo yes, was well, attacked looted. during COVID. Yes. But what people don't realize is when emergencies happen and you have to relocate people from their communities, you have to feed them. Because you've taken them away from their means of livelihood, maybe their farms and all that, their shops, they have to be fed. And what they are looting in those warehouses are usually the first things that respondents give to give to, yeah. to, to, to yes. people in IDP camps it and the rest. So you don't have to loot. Those will remember how uh, um, a Nigerian army officer who was a uh, uh, military assistant to the immediate past, uh, uh, to the former NYC um, director general. How he stopped those who wanted to loot the yeah. NYC um, secretariat without firing a shot. He said, look, you want to loot their mattresses and all that. When these people are posted, to this way, what do we give them? If you loot their mattresses, on what would they uh, sleep? So we found a way to calm them down, and they didn't loot. Another incident happened during that COVID era when they attacked the customs uh, training school. Yeah. And they, those, those guys said, look, the cars here are not exhibit cars, they are our cars. The computers here are our computers. You cannot loot. Okay, oh, why would people want to now loot cars, loot computers? And you say it's hunger. Then That's crime. It is, you know, it is something else. So the, the computers, you know, they, they will have emptied the place of those computers that people use uh, during their training. And they said, no, you can't do this. In the end, they had to gun down some of them mm. because they were not going to stop. They were scaling the wall, coming into the premises. I know that these are difficult times, and it reinforces the need for our governors to move. 
this kind of thing, I'm very certain that it won't happen in Yobe, it won't happen in Bono, because constantly the governors of those two states mm -hmm. are moving in into communities to give people palliative grains and all the rest. So I don't uh, I, I, I encourage our governors to move in, try to ease the pain on our people, although what has happened is criminality. It's criminal. There's no justification. And, and again, Biki, how do we ensure this does not become a trend? Because one of the no, if we are not careful. This is the first time in ten years that it would be along that route. Happen. Yes, it's a very quiet uh, area, you know, on the way to Kano. If people continue to get away with it, they will not stop. That's Others will do it. Yeah. Now, vehicles moving food um, and other uh, products to different parts of the country would uh, come under this kind of um, attack. So we need to, to, to do our best. And all of those warehouses, by now, the people who run NEMA and other places should know that they must protect those places. They need to protect those places. Can okay, you find out what it is? People, I mean, yeah, the situation in the country is bad. There's hunger, no doubt. But I think also... Um, people need to be, uh, community leaders need to speak to people, plead with people. Because if you look these places, one, you're going to throw people out of jobs. That, the driver of that truck may have been sacked. Yeah. Because the management won't say uh, you went to pray and all that. Mm. The management may just mm. have sacked him. Now, you have thrown somebody with a family out of work. Mm. You satisfy your own hunger, but you put one man in trouble. And then some other, maybe some other people along the line. You put some people in trouble, you throw some people out of jail. So it's a vicious cycle which will not do anybody any good. So government should work harder. Yes, get food across to the people. But also deal with insecurity. Let these people, because the energy these people exerted in looting this truck, if they put those, that energy into the farms, Mm. You know, if you remove the people causing problems in the, far, in the, in the forest, if they put the energy in the farms, we will have much more food. And there won't be need to loot these trucks. Great perspective. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on to some other issues.